Good morning, Los Angeles. Did you watch the opening of the NFL football season last night? Tremendous game. New England Patriots rolled over the Pittsburgh Steelers 28-21. Can you believe they emerged from all the controversy of the Flategate to have this big victory? Can you also believe that the Patriots may have cheated throughout the first half of that game? I can. Hi, I'm Bill Plaschke, sports columnist, Los Angeles Times, and this is your wake-up call. A wake-up call indeed for the New England Patriots, one of the greatest franchises in pro sports, and also maybe one of the most cheating franchises in pro sports. They come out, and what happens in the first half of last night's first game of the season? The Pittsburgh Steelers coaches can't hear each other on their headsets. The headsets are garbled with New England Patriots radio broadcast. But come on, man. It's the first half of the first game, and they can't even get it right. And the fans are amazing. The fans in New England think they're vindicated. They think they've been redeemed. They're in the stands chanting, where is Roger? Because they're taunting the fact that the commissioner of football did not show up at the game. This is the commissioner who suspended Brady for four games for the Flake Gate. They were sent in that suspension. Well, guess what? There's no redemption here. This is a black mark on the Patriot organization from this offseason, from past seasons that will remain. Even four Super Bowl championships can cleanse it. And they couldn't even get through the first half of the first game without cries of cheating. Unbelievable. You can follow us at LATimes.com. Follow me at Bill Plaschke on Twitter. Have a great day.